three. So we got to last night in the dark and my friends are not here. So I missed them. They are somewhere on the west coast and at another place and somebody else is uh, looking after this place. But we're here now and it's a very interesting little guest house. A lot of eclectic stuff, arty, free thinking and arty people that owns it. There's a bakery next door. Yeah, so we'll be here. I don't know what we're going to do next. Uh, we'll see. That's up to Pierre. It's basically his holiday. I'm just tagging along. So, take it step by step. But we're in California now. Nice to be out of the city. So we're almost on our way. Pierre just went for a jog. He's a bit slow. I'm quite fast when I travel. I like to get stuff done. So I have to rush him a bit. Hopefully we'll leave soon and hopefully we will get to the next place before dark. I'm doing my best with Pierre. Slow Pierre. But uh, he's a very generous guy. And uh, this is all the jam he bought at that petrol station last night for to give away to people on the road. Nice one, Pierre. Like nice local canned fruit and jams. Pierre went wild with the jams. Wait, there's more. Variety of jams. So we're in jam country. If you like jam, this is the place to be. Two weeks later. Okay, we're going now after many hours. Um, I'm dressed in my uh, my platelet wardrobe. So it's quite a kind of hot, quite a bit hotter than Cape Town. So we're eating the road finally. Uh, I can almost guarantee you we will not get, not get to the final destination before dark, but let's see. Calfinia is a typical Karua town where things move at a somewhat slower pace and where you will find people just hanging about with the uniquely African attitude of who cares about the clock when there are no jobs. Being the sort of people who don't allow planning or unnecessary information to spoil our careless travels, we completely forgot that we were traveling in a time where you can famously see wildflowers abundantly display their colors all along this part of South Africa.
stopping at Brandfly. Brandfly is basically there's nothing here. A small, very really small place of beer was it and coffee, so we're in Brandfly now. For a coffee break, we're gonna get there in the dark. I can feel it. You will, yeah, you will. Okay, this guy says he will smile for us. Can we ask you a question? Yes. yes sir. What happens in this place? How is this place? This place is, is too much. Too much what? Music? Good times? No music. Is, the, the life game is tough here. Boys. Late afternoon, we're in Kenhart. I'm just gonna pop into the hotel. Pierre's gonna see some of his family members. And uh, yeah, at least we made it to Kenhart so far. Uh, let's check out the, the hotel and the bar. I have a drink. Two star hotel. I don't know what that means. Nice long veranda. I wasn't here. I haven't been here for many years. Nice old school dining place. That's um, John Ray. That's a nice guy, nice local. This is the nice bar. I haven't been here for years. When I started doing my first vlogs many years ago, I used to come here. Oh, I came here once. Could be a little camera skinny. Kind of stuff against the world. Oh. I have permission to write on this wall, so let's do it. Sure, well, you can see this, but there's a whole swarm of swallows around the church feeding. It's becoming summer here in Southern Africa. So, summertime is here, and the swallows arrive, and they're here, and they're feeding, and it's happy and a good sign. I hope you have a good summer. Okay, we're just leaving Kenart. It is sunset almost, and we're gonna take a turn off on a dirt road to go past the farm where my travel companion secret name P, Mr. P that's where his father's farm was eh? Petra's running out and the sun just set as you saw. Did we make it before dark? No. Whose fault is this? Slow beer. Slow beer, you motherfucker. 
I told you tomorrow, if it's dark, I'm not going anywhere. I'm getting out of the car. Street in Kakamas, family of beer. So we're staying here tonight at a suburban house and it will continue tomorrow. We're just looking for the entrance. How's it guys? Thank you for watching this vlog up to this point. It's not finished, the interview is going to follow now. And I would like to invite you and to ask you, please subscribe, it helps me a lot. It motivates me to make more videos, if you like this vlog, subscribe. And it also helps the algorithm. And if you like what you see and you want to support me, you can go to my PayPal thingy or pop up here. Or there's a link in the, on my banner, on my YouTube channel. And you can buy me a beer or a coffee. You know? All those little bits will help you to make the next vlog because it takes a lot of time, a lot of work and it takes money to make stuff. So if you want, appreciate this, if you like it, make a small donation, it will be very much appreciated. Okay yeah, guys, thank you, see you in the next vlog. So we've got these two little beds. I think Pierre survived by snoring last night. I believe he will survive it again. We even have chocolates on the beds. That's really cool. Okay, we had a long drive now, not that long, but a long drive, if you know what I mean. This is short wise, but slow and long. Because of slow beer here, yeah? it's fine beer, we forgive you. Uh, he actually stopped at a few very nice places, we had some nice scenery that will be in the vlog. And now we have Barney at Kakamas, and he's our host. And he gave us whiskey and wine, and thank you very much. And it's this beautiful little house, and we have a bright fire going there. And this is just the end of the day. Thank you for uh, allowing us into your house. And I just want to ask uh, who you guys are and about Kakamas. Where are we exactly and what is the story here in a nutshell? Because what is the main claim to Kakamas? What happens here? Farming. Mm. Farming is the main claim. Um, grape farming especially. Raisins, wine and um, export grapes. Lemon, lime, oranges. Mm. That is quite big now. Uh -huh. So there's a lot of water here. Is it close yes. to the river or what? On the river. Is this on the river, the orange river? Yes. Not far. Okay. Like two k's max two at the moment. Uh, so the orange river, I'll show you guys tomorrow and then we will subtitle in what the orange river is about. It's a river. It's a big river. And uh, It's the biggest what? river in South Africa. The yeah. The river in South Africa is a big deal, man. And uh, what do you do here, if I may ask? I'm, I'm a teacher at the local high school. And how is life in the Kakamas? Uh, should people move here? Or should I leave you guys alone? Is it like, is it like, is it nice? It's a nice place. Out? Is it restaurants? Nice uh, restaurants. Is it? Yes, quite a few also. Okay. Yeah, it's nice living here. Uh, rest, rest yeah, yeah. by rest. And tell me about the tourist season now, yeah, because we have Orange River, right? And then we have the Ograwis is not so far. Yes. So, yeah. so, so people come here in tourist season. So yes. And uh, flower season in Amakoland. So the flower season extends all the way up here as well. Yeah. If you're lucky. You didn't see any flowers today on the road. Yes, we did. It was amazing. Yeah, yeah but between Kenat and Kakamas. Not so much. Yeah, we haven't went the last mm. few, two weeks. Mm. So I thought they were... Yeah, so the flower season and... But mainly right through the year, because of the falls. About 800 kilometers from Cape Town. Yes. yes. So and from Joburg. And from Joburg, so it's nice and central. Yes. And the weather is very much warmer here than Cape Town. No wind. It's uh, a dry, it's a dry, hot place. Very comfortable. Very sunny. It's, it's one of the sunniest parts in South Africa. Statistically speaking, Uppington is the town with the most sunlight every year. Mm. Well, okay, yes. so that's a, like a yeah. statistical fact. Yes. Okay, so if you like sun, 
You like wine, right? They make yes. wine as well. Yes. yes. And you not like rivers to swim in. And I don't know if you want to talk about you guys, how you keep connected. Yes, my mother and his parents were friends back in the day, like late 60s, when my mom came here to teach at the local school, the high school. Yes, and that's how we know each other. So by the way, this road trip is more like, I'm just tagging along, making a little vlog, but it's more Pierce thing, I'm just, I just climbed into the bucket, just show you what I can. Okay, folks, I think that's finished now, we're just gonna relax, and Bri and... But he can thanks. be a real pain in the backside. I'm such a pain in the backside. <laughs> never, never travel with me, okay? I'm telling you now, if you ever see me, for the few people that watch this, don't think, don't romanticize it because I'm a pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. He's, he, he's all about the golden hour. So I want to hang out and take a photo and then he's nagging me about the golden hour. Let's get to the... Uh, the destination for the golden hour. Yeah. Okay, that's why I'm, t I'm, I'm just joking with Pierre. We're just very different. Pierre is just very calm. I'm very rushed. <laughs> and my whole thing is I don't like to drive at night. And I don't want to drive when the, the, the light is good. That's why that's the whole thing of today, the last two days. So I get like anxious, anxious, you know. Because the last hour and a half of the day, I want to plan my shots. I don't want to take drive-by shots. I want to be at the location I want to shoot. I'm going to take my time, set up a few angles, do it properly. Because the golden hour is the magic hour. Obviously, everybody knows that for photos and videos. That's why I'm so like pushing you all the way. I say, come on, let's go. And let's, let's not miss the golden hour. So that's what it's all about. Golden hour. But all in good fun. All in good fun. Thank you. And thank you very much. Cheers, guys. <laughs>